Time very quickly running out on President Trump's bid to overturn November's election results, which show Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States. Congress sets to meet later today and certify each state's electoral college results. More than 100 House members and at least 13 senators plan to object to the vote. Natalie Brand has more coming out of the White House. Take it this White House, we're going to fight like hell, I'll tell you right now. President Trump is calling on a key ally to challenge the election results when Congress meets to certify President-elect Joe Biden's victory. I hope that our great vice president, our great vice president comes through for us. He's a great guy. Of course, if he doesn't come through, I won't like him quite as much. Thirteen Republican senators have promised to come through for the president in challenging the results. I will object to the electoral college vote. The president's fight against the election has caused a rift within the Republican Party between those who accept the results and those backing the president's effort. People will remember the people that don't support us. Last month, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell privately urged his colleagues not to contest the Electoral College vote. Republicans supporting certification say there's no evidence of fraud to overturn the results. Among them, West Virginia's Shelley Moore Capito, who warned refusing to count a state's electoral votes in the absence of such evidence would disenfranchise millions of American voters. I don't want to have our votes overturned by other members of Congress from other places. I don't see in the Constitution where we even actually have that authority, quite honestly, and I read it again this morning. Thousands of President Trump supporters plan to protest outside of the Capitol during Wednesday's proceedings. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.